Eric Vizquiz always sets sail just after sunrise. Sometimes he invites a friend along, or some tourists, to introduce them to the local fishing traditions here on the Côte d'Azur. The fish they catch is always eaten later the same day in local restaurants. The Mediterranean in the south of France is a steadily changing display of color and light. Anyone looking for more than the splendid vegetation at the roadside can visit the Mediterranean landscapes in the expansive Domaine du Rayol Botanical Garden. It's home to plants from places around the world that have a climate similar to the Mediterranean. The glitzy town of Saint-Tropez is a popular port of call for the international jet set. It's always exciting when giant luxury yachts put in. There are restaurants and cafes galore here, and no shortage of top-class boutiques either. In the center of Saint-Tropez is La Ponche, a hotel with a colorful history. Owner Simone Duckstein knows why the Côte d'Azur has been a magnet for the rich and famous ever since the 1950s. Among the high-profile guests were film diva Brigitte Bardot, her third husband, German playboy Gunther Sachs, and French writer Françoise Zagin. If wealthy people like that want to stay here, there must be good reasons. There's a harmony and beauty that are hard to find elsewhere. Other regions have extraordinary and beautiful landscapes, but a place where you feel at home and with so much harmony is very rare. The 400-kilometer-long Côte d'Azur offers no less than 230 beaches and bays. Each section of the coast has hotels of all sizes and categories including five-star establishments like the Club de Cavalier, one of the most exclusive hotels in the entire region. Winemaking has a long tradition here. Many of the vineyards stretch all the way down to the sea. Here the vintners provide on-site parking and access to the beaches, and those beaches are often indescribably beautiful. Looming over the coast is the Massif des Morts, one of the most original landscapes of the Côte d'Azur. It's the most densely wooded region in France, full of chestnut trees and cork oaks. The cork bark is stripped off every 10 or 12 years. For some winemakers, it provides a little extra income. Nestling in the woods is Calobriere sometimes called the capital of the Massif des Morts. The Hotel Notre Dame regularly invites visitors to its wine tasting events on the terrace. The region is famed for its rosé wines. While hotel owner Olivier Fevre enlightens his guests, his wife tells us about other local specialities. We have chestnut liqueur and sweet chestnut glacé, plus we make a dessert out of chestnuts with cream cheese. These products originate from the mountains here and have been used for centuries. The most important culinary element here on the coast, of course, is fish. André Delmont is serving the traditional bouillabaisse fish stew. Here in the south, we have a very rustic kind of cuisine. Not as sophisticated as in Burgundy or elsewhere. It's rustic cuisine that everyone can cook. The crucial element is the quality of the products. It doesn't always have to be star-studded cuisine. The former French president Jacques Chirac ordered his bouillabaisse a number of times from André Delmont while staying in this fort. It was a popular vacation haunt for Chirac with fantastic views over the Mediterranean and a majestic mountain backdrop. <laughs> 